So when it's time to make some more protein, part of the DNA in the nucleus of the cell will unwind. And an enzyme called polymerase 2 will go along the DNA. And it will take that information from the DNA and translate that into mRNA, messenger RNA. And this messenger RNA will then trot off into the cytoplasm of the cell. It's actually guided there via quite precise mechanisms, but it goes off into the cytoplasm of the cell. And in the cytoplasm of the cell, we have the ribosomes. So the information is transcribed from DNA to RNA. The RNA gets to the ribosomes where that information is translated into proteins. And that's how the body makes its own proteins. So I like to think of it as DNA is the recipe that you print off your computer or read in your recipe book. Then I go into the kitchen and I want to actually make the, the meal that uh, the recipe codes for. And it's me that puts it together. So in a sense, I am the messenger RNA or the ribosome that's putting this meal together. Rather appalling analogy, but maybe that gives you the idea. The DNA is the information. It's then put together operationalized into the essential proteins that keep us alive. And actually, from time to time in DNA, there are mistakes called mutations. And these are remarkably useful sometimes because they can help us to adapt into different environments. So, for example, if we go and live up a mountain, we can make haemoglobin, which is more suited to low partial pressures of oxygen. But let's have a look at a brilliant graphic that shows this actual process of the RNA being produced in the nucleus of the cell. So in the chromosomes, the DNA is tightly packed. But because we want to make some proteins based on the information in the DNA, here it's been unwound in the nucleus of the cell. And here we have the polymerase 2 that's going to go along read the information from the DNA, convert that information from the DNA into the messenger RNA. This is what is supposed to happen. Let's just watch this happening now. And there we see the RNA molecule carrying the information from the DNA molecule. This is a mirror image, really, of the information that's in the DNA ready to take this information out to the cytoplasm containing the information that codes for the immensely complicated body proteins. The mRNA is then transported with its message. It's mRNA, it is messenger RNA carrying this complex genetic information for the production of cellular proteins which of course is essentially what most of the body is made from we are largely made from proteins and the analogy used in this graphic is that of the dna being the uh, instructions the blueprint and then the project managers being the rna bringing it bringing it to life which 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 is fine so you can have that analogy or you can have my recipe analogy, take, take your pick.